breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. It's happening. Our very own brother, Amoy Elisha Ware, has, you know, has spoken into what is going on. He said, well, in Nigeria today, the Fulani killer headsmen are known to Nigerian rulers, okay, security agencies and all that. So they enjoy spe special status. Anything can happen. They are free. But when you go to the southeast, you begin to see roadblocks for every meter. You see roadblocks all over. So the, the very, I mean, in fact, you need to listen to the videos, interviews from those from Plateau State who says there are three communities where these people are coming from. And guess what? They're not born any Nigerian security personnel, Army, Navy, police, make it go there. They know that that is where these people, they come from. And they say, you know what? All government needs to do is to lay siege on those three communities and insecurity will die a natural death. But guess what? Buhari's administration that aided and supported these people the North is not ready for the truth to be revealed. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Plateau massacre killers. The Fulani headsmen who carry out this killing are known to Nigerian leaders. So they enjoy space, special status. No questions asked. Showare in a, in a post on Tuesday via his ex handle condemned the killings of the scores of residents in several communities in, Bo in Bosco and Kimin local government area of Plateau State on the eve of Christmas. Omar Elisho were a human rights activist candidate of the African Action Congress, AAC, in 2023 presidential election says, the Fulani headsmen attackers that are carrying out activities in Nigeria, killing people, are known to Nigerian government. And Nigerian government is unwilling to go after the killer headsmen. They know them. And um, those who support these Fulani headsmen, their mission in this country are also known. They are in leadership. So so they enjoy special status. Show a post on Tuesday via his verified ex handle condemned the killing of the scores of the resident and says this is absurd. In a nation where we know the people who carry out these evil atrocities, yet nothing is done to ensure that people are protected and that these people do not carry out these wicked activities anymore. He added that the body language of Nigerian government over the years shows that these criminals enjoy certain privileges. He identified it as the reason why they continue to operate in the country freely and continue to cause havoc and insecurity. Omo Elisho Warren said the plateau Christmas massacre is not only this one. There are different slaughterhouses that goes on, well known by the done by the Fulani headsmen. Yes, Plateau State has experienced a lot of this all across the country. Nigerian rulers know them very well. They know the killer machineries and those who carry out this activity, and nothing is done. They back them up, they sponsor them. These are the, the elites and government who carry out this activity and tell them there is no need to worry. So our reporter says, if Tinubu wants to show that is not part of this atrocity or he does not want to speak out, he should because Nigerians are watching. You came shouting it was your turn. Now show to Nigerians that indeed is your turn. The people's life are being taken by the minute by criminals and yet nothing is done to protect the life of the people. What sort of a government is this? A lot of issues have happened. A lot of things are going on and yet our government move freely as if nothing is going on. This is the very terrible moment of what we are experiencing today. Nigerians, the time to arise and to ensure that these people are held to account is now. A lot of things are happening. The massacre that have happened a few days ago with all these things going on. You know, guess what? The very governor of the state went to Tinubu's house party. Oh yes, you heard me. You heard me clearly. Yeah, the governor was in Tinubu's house party. Why the people are trying to pick up their wounds to the extent, okay, Nigerian police and all that, you know, they can't go there. They can't go there. They can't even go there. You know, yet, yet, yet people are being deployed to, nothing is happening. You know, all that is happening, there are big men that says, you know, these things should go on, go and do this, go and do that. There And nothing is going, you know, people are just dying unnecessarily. 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 
you know, and everybody's quiet. Continue with business as usual, as if, you know, it's okay, it's all right, as if all is well. And everybody is silent. What a nation, what a people. If there's any time in our history where we should all rise up and say today, enough is enough. We will not allow this to continue. It is now more than ever before. Do you see the crop of what is going on? How things have been happening? You know, those that should speak are not. People are dying needlessly. Because some people, you know, have, who have taken on the runs of leadership are doing absolutely nothing to ensure the safety of Nigerians. Sadly, these are the people we have in government. Sadly, these are the people who are leading. You know, these are the people who are leading. Sadly. Can you see that we need a, we need a real change? Leave us a comment. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Remember to please uh, share the news. God bless. Bye for now. Yes, um, what, what we should do more from what has been done is that we should, we, should, we should not deploy men to places that has had um, challenges of insecurity. And then within a month or two, that, that has stabilized. Do not take them out and open up the place. We need to do that, to do that continuously. We need to, to go back for the Nigerian police. They need the capacity to be able to, to go back to the olden days of having a police force, a, a police station. A police post is a police station in the remote area where men are deployed and accommodation is provided. And then the police stations and the police divisions in, in that sequence. So that if there's anything happening within the, at the interior, within a given um, area or a state or a community. It will be easy for, 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 for such police officers to make a report that something is about to happen or there is a planning for, for, for an attempt to disturb the peace of the, of the state. We need to have sufficient men on ground. There are no sufficient policemen around. And so, um, the military are uh, easily deployed when the police haven't had uh, to occupy the place because of, uh, of, of the manpower. And with what is happening and with what the government is doing, I, I think that um, it, will, it will go a long way to have the presence of the policemen in police station, police post, police division, you know, covering up the areas. And then um, having men who also in uh, intelligence unit to also supplement uh, complement the, the 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 other units that are the the, the that are responsible for for gathering of um, intelligence and then we will need in the any attempt that someone wants to do that criminals want to build